That sounds pretty good for a rough mix. Let's listen with the voice. Well, the voice isn't loud enough. Let's open a copy in SoundForge. And see what we can do with this vocal. I don't know what went wrong between us. Well, we can just simply add volume. I don't know what went wrong between I don't know what went wrong between us. So that's 4 dB louder than it was. That would be one option. Another option would be to use Wave Hammer. I don't know what went wrong between us. I can't tell you why. Fat, but not distorted. Save this. Notice that the wave was updated. If we click on the wave and click T, we can go back to the original. Now we have two different takes. Let's see how it sounds with the Wave Hammer Edition. I don't know what went wrong between us. I can't tell you why. That's not too bad, but I have an idea. Let's duplicate the track. We're going to use the Sony Reverb. Try a medium room. Actually, we can make this a little smaller. And we've routed this track to the vocal effects bus, and on that bus we put this reverb effect. Let's take a listen. I can't begin to comprehend it. The folly of our life. I can't begin to comprehend it. The folly of our life. I've adjusted the pan of this one 2% left, the dry one, and the wet one 2% right. I also, using the numeric keypad, I moved this one back just a notch so that they're not exactly together. And I've been experimenting with phase, and it seems that having this one with this phase works the best. I can't begin to comprehend it, the folly of our life. And I turned down the wet version in relation to the dry version. Now let's hear the whole thing and see if it sounds remarkably or reasonably like something. In darkness, all that's left of us now. Whispers in the dark. Whispers in the dark. Whispers in the dark. Whispers in the Dark, audio mixing in Vegas.